Hello guys and welcome back to Birmingham Fan TV for your final uh, match preview of the season at home at St Andrews. It is Wigan at home this weekend on Saturday and um, guys can I just say if you could leave us a like and smash the like button um, on this final home game preview um, I'd be massively appreciated just to show that you have enjoyed the content this year um, that we've been trying to smash out for you guys and just to show a little bit of appreciation um, for myself, Emily, Mark, Jack, everybody that does a little bit of work um, for the team here. Um, that would be massively appreciated if we could um, get as many likes as we can. Um, it would be massive for me, yeah. And if you could leave your comments down below on all the talking points as well um, from the preview as well. Score predictions, team lineups. Um, obviously, we've had a few of yours for the Wigan game already. We'll go through those later on. But if you can leave your score prediction in any of the correct ones, I will read out uh, in the review. See if any of you can get it right this weekend. Around 23,000 sold for this game. Um, a little bit disappointing uh, at the minute. I know Wigan, we only gave them initially 1,000. I think they'd be given an extra 500. A um, little bit different, a little bit disappointed at that level. Uh, I think the prices don't help. But if you haven't already, guys, um, go and fetch yourself a ticket for that one and come down and show the boys and Gary Monk um, just how much we appreciate them this season, just how much we appreciate the hard work that they've done um, under ridiculously difficult circumstances and um, they've um, done a tremendous job. And don't forget, we're going to be at Bordsley, so thank you so much for, to our sponsors, Bordsley. We'll be there on Saturday, so catch us there. Um, if you don't already, uh, I know we've met so many of you down there pre-matches and uh, like I say, this is going to be the final home game of the season, so get yourself down there uh, and grab a drink with us and we'll have a chat before the game. So getting into this one, Blues are five unbeaten in the championship and I think it just goes to show we were five without winning and now we're five unbeaten. Uh, it's a crazy league, it does swing, uh, but ultimately I think that that's one that's going to stretch to six probably, unbeaten. I don't see Wigan potentially coming to beat us, I'm not saying, I'm not counting out the draw, um, but their, their away form has been dismal all season to say the least. Um, just the two away wins this season for Wigan coming quite early on in the season against Stoke and then an away win in their last one against Leeds of all teams, you know. It seems to be the, the thing that teams go and beat Leeds that are struggling. But that was a great win for them. I, I think their home form has been massive this season. And they are a really good team, Wigan. You can't count them out of anything. Um, they are going to come and pose a threat. I just think that we've got a little bit more at home than we do away from home at the minute. And I do expect us to, to at least get a point in this one. So Blue sitting in 17th, Wigan sitting in 18th. The, neither team have anything to play for. Both are now mathematically safe other than places and pride. So it's going to be one of those games where it's either going to be a 3-3 or a 0-0. Let's be honest. That's the way it goes in these ones, isn't it? They're either playing, you know, you get players that are playing to put themselves in the shop window um, or players that are already on the beach, to be honest. Um, that's kind of the way these games swing. Um, I'm hoping for for the for the latter that that we can we can go and we can um, put on a show and maybe get a few goals, uh, make it an entertaining game for the last home game of the season. Uh, but Paul Cook's done an excellent job at Wigan, um, not only bringing them up last season, uh, but keeping them in the league this season in a really 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 competitive championship. And I think you know hats off to him. Um, they didn't have a big budget. They haven't spent a lot, uh, but he, with the group of players that he had uh, and added little bits of quality, I think he's done extremely well. Um, they do line up in sort of a 4-2-3-1 system, 4-5-1 um, again. It seems to be a, a very popular um, sort of formation in the championship this season. Uh, looking at their last lineup from the Preston game, which they did win 2-0 at home uh, on Bank Holiday Monday. Uh, it was Walton in goal, again, a player that's really kind of uh, done really well at Wigan, making a name for himself. Um, a back four of Byrne, Dunkley, Fox and Robinson. Um, a midfield two of uh, Rhys James and Sam Morsi. Two very, very, very talented players in that midfield for Wigan who are, um, if we're not on it, going to cause us real, real problems uh, on, on Saturday. Uh, Gavin Massey, Evans and Naismith are the forward three in behind Leon Clark. And uh, there's, there's many names there that you can pick out and uh, highlight as the danger men. I think the four players for me that stand out, Sam Morsey, uh, very tenacious midfield player and, and very good on the ball, can, can make it work for them uh, and dictate the play if we're not quite on our game. I think with Davis at the minute, he either swings one way or the other, he has a, he has a shocker or he's really on it. Uh, I'm hoping that he's on it uh, because... With the players that they've got, again, Reese James is another one that I'm going to pick out. Obviously, I think will be one 
to make his Premier League debut next season. Uh, he's been such uh, a revelation at Wigan after coming on loan from Chelsea. I know he does want to go back to Chelsea, and obviously, who doesn't want to make a name for himself? Um, it's going to be tough to break into their team. You might see him go on loan probably to a lower Premier League team, um, such as like a Norwich or something like that, depending uh, on their recruitment. But I think that he's such a talented player, very versatile as well, can play all over the park, depending on where he plays. Obviously, I'm reading out their previous lineup, so whether he stays in midfield or whether he goes back to full-back or, or centre-half, he can play anywhere, really. He's, he's that good of a player. Um, very good on the ball, very quick, very strong, and, and a bag of tricks as well at times. Um, Gavin Massey, again, a player that has been linked away um, in the summer. A very, very good player, got a goal in him, uh, very quick, um, and he's going to cause us problems. And obviously, Leon Clark up top, a proven, proven goal scorer in this league, uh, and someone that adds a bit of firepower to their forward line. Obviously, they didn't have much towards the start, start of the season, but they brought him in in January, and I think he's done a really good job there. Um, obviously, wasn't getting in the lineup at Sheffield United. Not surprised with them doing so well. And he's done okay at Wigan. He's done okay, but again, he's a player that seems to come back and haunt us quite a lot. So um, those are the four players I'd pick out are going to cause us a problem, um, if any, on Saturday. Um, as for Blues, obviously, if you've been obviously on social media recently, you'll see that Harley Dean uh, has been playing with sort of a groin hernia for the last three months. He has now um, been told by Gary Monk to go and have the operation and will be out for the remaining two games. So let me know who you think is going to come in um, in that centre-back position for Harley. I think he epitomises Blues with his just his sheer desire to still play through the injury while it could be perceived as um, a little bit negligent and a little bit silly. Uh, I think he played his cause. He switched sides with Morrison. If, Like I said, um, I think a couple of months ago, it was, it was evident that they've swapped sides. I didn't know, obviously, that he was injured, but I thought it was a tactical switch. But Harley was struggling to play on that left-hand side of defence. Um, so kudos to him. Uh, massive respect to him. And obviously now he can go and rest up easy and come back for pre-season, uh, fit and ready to go again. Um, Blues obviously now being safe, we're going to expect changes for this game. I think big changes. Um, but also I don't think Gary Monk's going to want to throw this game. He still want to go out and win that game. Uh, but he wants to blood a few youngsters, wants to give people game time that necessarily haven't had game time. Uh, and just rest a few Um I know, obviously, he's, he said today that he'd like to look at um, keeping Mahoney and keeping Gardner uh, into next season, whether it be loans again or permanents, we'll wait and see. But obviously, they've still got to go and talk to the, the parent clubs and they've got to go and talk to the um, themselves as well. They've got to talk to the players and, 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 and see what the deal is there. If the players want to stay, if the parent clubs will let them stay, I'm sure we can work a deal out for the both of them. Two players, again, I would like to see stay, um, whether they be starters next season, yet to be seen. I think we can do better. But for the money, if we can get um, them on the cheap or on loan again, certainly two players I think that have done really well this season. Um, so Blues can finish on 56 points this season, uh, six points to play for, but we can only go up one place if anything. We can go as high as 16th, um, which would be Stoke, who are in 16th. So um, not many places to play for, really. Again, same with Wigan. So I've got a few of your lineups um, that you left on the Rotherham review. Um, I'll read out just a couple, a couple of the interesting ones that I thought um, were worth a couple of talking points. Um, Raw's Insanity, uh, right, it's a team I would like uh, for this game. Truman in goal, interesting change. Harding at right back, Morrow, Roberts and Pedersen across the back. Um, Lakin and Craig Gardner in his midfield, he writes, could be a farewell game for him. Uh, and Rabti Hotter, Vassell and Duke slash Adams, he couldn't decide who he would pair with. Uh, Vassell up front. I like that. Uh, obviously, he says that um, he doesn't know if he'll be breaking any rules allowing uh, Bellingham to be brought in. No, Bellingham can play. Um, I do believe he can be uh, introduced to the matchday squad and play if Gary Monk so wishes to do so. Um, whether he takes that gamble, I would like to see him take that gamble. Not to start him, but to bring him on. Um, but we'll wait and see. James Stiles writes, the team I'd like to put out against Wigan, camping goal, Collant, Roberts, Morrison and Pedersen, okay, so a very consistent back five there, Hotter, Lakin, Craig Gardner and Rabti, Vassell and Adams, it seems to be a very sort of similar midfield six that people are picking out, um, Craig and Lakin in the middle resting the two midfielders, um, and then Rabti coming in as well as Vassell, um, and again, people saying that they'd like to see Bellingham on the bench, I get that, uh, Sean the Blue, uh, Truman, Harding, Morrison, Roberts, Pedersen, Lakin uh, and Rab team with Goma Hotter uh, and Vassell. I believe you are missing one out there, but I'm sure that it'll either be Vassell or Duke. I'm pretty sure that you'd be going for again. Uh, 
Tom Wollencroft, 1875, Truman Pedersen, Roberts, Morrison, Hardin, Mags and Rabti, Lakin, Davis, Vassell and Duke. The final one I thought was actually a really, really interesting one. Um, Tom Allett writes, nothing to lose, right? Well, let's go for a 3-4-3, change the system up. Stop down in goal, he writes with an exclamation mark. Um, interesting. I can't see Stockdale playing again, if I'm honest. I don't see him uh, coming back and playing any part at all. He will be going in the summer, I believe. Um, you've probably got more chance of Truman coming in, but um, I see the point. Morrison, Roberts and Dean across the back. I like that back three. Um, obviously, Dean being out now, he could potentially change that for Harding if he was looking at going for the system. Magoma Hotta, um, Craig Gardner, Max Collin in midfield. Oh, very interesting. And then Adams, Yukovic, and Vassell. Up front, uh, as Barry Fry once said, we'll either win 10 0 or lose 10 0. Well, that's it, that's going to be kind of the approach for this game. Um, and I do think that Blues are going to really mix it up. So I, I agree with you guys on a lot of them. Sorry if I didn't read them out, uh, read all of them out. Obviously, we don't have enough time, but uh, don't forget to leave yours for the Reading game in the review next week. And um, I'll read ones out that we didn't cover in this one. So my team would be. I don't think he's going to put Truman in goal, so I think he'll stick with Camp in goal. Uh, I don't think he's going to change the system too much because that's going to be, I think, the basis for next season. So I think he'll go with Harding at right back, um, a back four. So of Harding, Roberts, Morrison and Pedersen in there. So you've got two changes already to the back four. He doesn't want to disrupt that too much, I don't believe, because obviously we're not looking to throw the game. Um, a midfield four, whether it sets up as a diamond or as that flat midfield four, you guys decide. Um, I think he'll play Hotter on the right-hand side, uh, a midfield two of Enrabti and um, Craig Gardner in there, and on the left-hand side of midfield, Conor Mahoney. And then up front, Vassell and Yukovic, I think he might give Adams a rest and give him a run out depending on the circumstances of the game. Um, but then again, he might play, in fact, no, I'm going to change that and I'm going to go with Vassell and Adams because I think that it could be Adams' farewell home game. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to stay in the summer. Um, I think if the price is right, it's going to be too much to handle for Blues and we're going to take that. But you guys let me know. Uh, what do you think of my team? 4 4 2 4 you know, in the diamond, it could be, or it could be a flat 4-4-2. Uh, score prediction. Uh, it's not going to be an easy game. We're going to come here and they're going to want something to play for again. They're going to want to give their fans something. But I think if we're on our game and going forward, we're, we, we are like we are in the second half against Rotherham. 2-0 uh, for me. Um, Vassell and Rabti, the scorers for Blues in this one, guys. But let me know your score predictions down below in the comment section guys and I just wanted to say a massive thank you for this season for um, sticking by us hopefully enjoying the content um, we're gonna have a sit down and a think about where we go in the summer from here and just just continuing to improve and and make it better for you guys um, so it's more enjoyable for you guys um, but yeah just a massive thank you from all of us here uh, it's meant a lot to us that you've uh, chosen to enjoy our content this season and yeah I think all that's left to say is let's go and win our last two games and on roll on pre-season guys but thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you for the aftermatch review of the Wigan game hopefully it's a win keep right on